First quarter action here at Pope John High School, and Pope John scores first. Just a minute plus in, watch Ed May with the running start and the rip, and the lines are up 1-0 over Blair. Blair Academy gets on the scoreboard here, watch Thomas Jenkins with the bounce, and the Bucks trail 2-1 with 145 to go in the opening period. Pope John answers here 25 seconds later out of the timeout. It's Keith Johnson burying the wide open shot, his second goal of the quarter, and it's 3-1 Pope John with 120 to go. But with 13 seconds to go in the quarter, watch Patrick Morrison score the first of his four goals as the referee rules the ball went in and Pope John has a 3-2 lead after one quarter. We move to second quarter action and it's Connor McCoy scoring his second straight goal off the low angle shot and Pope John has a two goal lead 5-3 with 7.19 to go in the second period. Wyatt Long responds here for Blair Academy on the ensuing faceoff. Watch the Bucks with the terrific passing and Long with the finish and Blair trails by one 5-4. After a Shane Plockhoy goal made it 6-4 Pope John. Watch Lions goalie Max Merlino keep it that way with a terrific stop, and the Lions are up by two at the break. All right, third quarter we go, and Patrick Morrison of Blair comes out on fire. He scores two straight goals. This one ties it up at six, just a minute 30 into the quarter. But Pope John settles down and retakes the lead here. Watch Shane Plockoy work his way in, and he scores, and it's 7-6 Pope John with 8.32 to go. Then after another Ronnie Fox win at X, Watch Connor Coyle feed Tyler Humphrey, and he scores, and it's 8-6 Pope John. The Lions cap the big quarter here. Watch Ed May left all along walk in, and he lets it rip, and Pope John has a 9-6 lead through three quarters of play. Okay, fourth quarter action, and watch the fortuitous deflection here as Michael Whittem gets the goal off the Connor Coyle rocket, and Pope John's up by 4-10-6. Pope John continues to dominate, and the long pole Ryan McCoy gets into the act as he converts the assist from his brother Connor and his 13-6 Pope John. Max Merlino was still on his game and goal for Pope John. Watch him make this save, and it stays 13-6. Blair ends its scoring drought here at the buzzer on this Thomas Jenkins goal, but Pope John would roar to a 13-7 victory here at Pope John High School. We came out, started a little slow, but... Second half, we played good and good team win. Uh, yeah, I thought we went out there after the uh, big loss against Spots. I think we went out, we were hungry to, for uh, goals, and we put everything out on the field that we needed to put out. After uh, losing to Sparta, a tough one across on rivals, it felt good to come out and get the win. Uh, I thought we executed perfectly. We came off a sad win against Sparta, held them to 5-3, uh, and they just start to rack up goals. So we used that motivation from that game to put it into here, and we just ran up the score. We finally uh, started to put some things together that we're uh, that we were focusing on in practice, and and uh, I think this was our testament to seeing that we were improving on a daily basis in practice, and then finally doing it uh, on the game field. Talk about the third quarter. They came out real quick, scored two goals, tied it up. Then Ronnie Fox did a great job with the faceoff, got you guys possessions, and you guys extended the lead and did a good job from there out. At halftime, our coach told us told us to possess the ball because we tend to force shots. So we held the ball, stayed calm, looked for the open shots. I think when Coach brought us into the huddle, he told us that we need to bring the intensity and we don't want to come out and be close with these guys. We knew we could uh, bring the intensity up and we went out there and we put it to them. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, Ronnie had a, a dominating day at, at the faceoff X, and that's what we're really proud about is not only did he create the ground ball situations, but he was also winning the ground ball for our team and then allowing our team to uh, have some more offensive possessions. And we were finally getting some confidence to either throw the ball, make the extra pass, or guys were taking the shots that they had, and that's what they need to do. But we weren't uh, we weren't rocked or uh, taken back by the goal score. That's, what, that's the game of lacrosse. That's what's going to happen. So uh, we just – dug our heels in and, and just went after it. Let's, let's talk about the defense. They scored two goals in the first minute 30 of the third quarter, and then you kept them out of the net literally to the buzzer. Yep. Once 14 got too quick on us, we came out. We knew we came out slow at halftime, so we just talked about it, figured out what to do, and stopped them. Started off uh, number 14, kind of cut in on us a few times, and we talked about it, and we figured it out, and uh, we were able to control them for the rest of the game, and uh, we did pretty well. Defense went out there, did an amazing job. Uh, shout out to Ryan to uh, do an amazing job on the uh, communication out there. 
Yeah, uh, you know, I, I give a lot of credit to our uh, close defensemen. They're a very good unit. They work great together. They just have that chemistry where if one guy's going one way, then they understand that they're going to be covering him. Uh, and we played as a unit today defensively. And then the goalie's the last line of defense, and he stood, up, he, he stood out real, uh, real big for us and, and made some great saves. Talk about the guys on the attack. Eddie May, terrific. Connor McCoy was, is awesome. Tyler Humphrey, when these guys are clicking, they can do the job, and they did it in the third quarter to give you the lead. We're just all lacrosse players. We can all catch and throw, and that's all you need in an attack line and on a team. Yeah, absolutely. I think the, uh, the, the best thing was that they had the confidence. They had uh, the ability to move the ball to the open the open person and then they were attacking and keeping their head up and being able to move the ball while we we're making a defense slide or, or getting them to shift and uh, we we're just keeping our head up and making the extra pass and moving the ball pretty well. How do you build on this for the rest of the season? I think this builds a fire under us. I think we can go out there, compete with all the teams in the rest of our uh, games and uh, go out there and see how far we can do in counties and states. We have to come out Saturday strong, keep the momentum going and Hope to finish out the season well. You know, I, I think that I, I was telling the guys that this is a testament to your practices and uh, just getting better every day. So this is a great win for us, but then we also need to realize that we're going back to the practice field tomorrow. We need to clean up some of our mistakes that we're doing and uh, just take it one day at a time.